Hi everyone, this is Colin and Jenna from Beyond 7-2. We're here with our friend Dr. Drizzle. We're so excited to be partnering together to bring high adventure STEM to students all around the world. We are excited too. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Drizzle and this is a real exciting day for us because we are going to partner with Beyond 7-2 like Colin said so we can visit schools all across the world and bring this amazing suite of services to you that involve science, technology, engineering, math, history, literacy, drama, PE, art, and music. So we're going to sort of get uh, Jenna and Colin into the mood a little bit and do a few experiments with you and tie this to their adventures. On Mount Everest, there's large crevasses, which are basically huge holes or cracks in the ice. And the only way to get across them is we take these ladders, these aluminum ladders, and put them across the crevasses. But you have to step very carefully because if you were to fall off, it's you know 200 to 300 feet down into an icy chasm. And so uh, you know the video that I showed you, it's very carefully of me balancing particularly well on this uh, on this uh, ladder to very step very carefully across the crevasse and make it safely to the other so side. So you had to have a lot of balance. Absolutely, balance is very key to making that crossing safe and successful. So let's look at the science behind that. Dr. Drizzle, you told us that the key to crossing a crevasse is balance, and so we're going to try to work on this puzzle. We've got to balance all of these nails onto one yeah. to figure out uh, the key. Boom! So I know that you also climb mountains, yes. right? And do some rock climbing. Yep. Um, I did a little bit of that back in the day and um, had harnesses and worked with carabiners. So tell me, when you're coming back down off the rock, what do you do with your feet? How do you get off that rock? Yeah, so coming down a rock face, generally what you do is rappel. And so you've got a harness on, you're connected to a rope, which is anchored to the rock. But the key is, is actually leaning back. It's kind of counterintuitive and putting your feet against the rock. So there's physics behind that. Yes, absolutely. We're going to talk to the kids about that, but let's see. Woo! Whoa, you wouldn't want to go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Weather has to play an important factor in all of your adventures. Tell me about that. Yeah, you know, weather is a crucial component. It can make it, it, it easier, it can make it a lot harder. For example, in Antarctica, it'd be minus 30 degrees ambient temperature, but with wind blowing 50, 60 mile per hour winds, you could get minus 60, minus 70 degree wind chill, or being blown around in the mountains by the wind. It's hard to set up the tent, so wind and weather plays a huge piece of uh, in my adventures and having to solve for that. So we're going to ask you, Jenna, to try to keep these ping pong balls in the air All using right. your hair dryer. <laughs> All right, All right, let's see your skills. See if I can All right, manage so, this. So yeah. I've got the ping pong and the hair dryer. Turn the hair dryer on. Nice. Oh my gosh. That's it. Let's talk a little bit about engineering now. Okay. In your expedition across Antarctica, we know that you were unaided, unsupported, and alone kids across the country were actually creating devices to help you. So I have a task for you. All right. I have some nice. battery holders, some AA batteries, some fans, some wires, mm -hmm. and I want you to create something that moves. All right. Can you do it? Yeah, let's try it out. And this would make, this would make this spin. Okay. Put your batteries in. Oh, put the batteries in. <laughs> <laughs> over top of it, blow over top of one of the wheels. No, not with, there you go. We have those plus about 50 other activities that we're going to be doing with schools all over the world. Amazing. Based on adventure, based on what kids can do if they just dream big. We're going to be talking about STEM. We're going to be working with teachers, providing professional development, doing some family STEM nights. Absolutely. That's crazy, right? Can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. To me, the, to me, the teachers are the heroes of our community. What they're doing, and and folks like yourself, really uh, getting there, educating young people, and getting them to dream about the future is just uh, amazing. That's wonderful. And so, Dr. Drizzle is honored to partner with Colin and Jenna with Beyond Seven Two to bring high adventure STEM to a school or a city or a district or a county or a state or a province or a country near you. So guys, are All you right. ready? Yep. So excited. Hashtag, Hashtag be, be possible. possible. <laughs>